In this video, I will present the reactive network. The reactive network introduces the concept of reactive smart contracts triggered by events instead of user actions. It's completely new and it's going to be a game changer for DeFi. And with a bounty program, you get paid for building smart contracts and dApps on the reactive network. More on this at the end of the video. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. Before we talk of the reactive network, let's talk of the problem it solves. A smart contract is what we call a state machine. By default, nothing is happening, the smart contract is sleeping. The smart contract only wakes up when a transaction triggers it. It runs a transaction which may or may not update its state and it sleep again. A smart contract can only react to incoming transactions. It can emit events, but these events previously were only meant to be consumed by external entities off-chain. Once these events are emitted, even though they are stored on the blockchain, they are not accessible anymore by smart contracts. A smart contract cannot monitor or react to any events, no matter if they are off-chain or on-chain events. So how can we make smart contracts react to events? The only way to do this is to build a backend service that monitors events either on-chain or off-chain and send a transaction to the blockchain to trigger our smart contract. But it's not easy. How can you capture events from the blockchain? How can you make sure that your backend service is not going to crash? What about security? You need to store a private key on your backend to send a transaction and it's not easy to keep it safe. And finally, a backend service is centralized, which breaks the promise of decentralization. Do we have a better solution? Yes, and it's called the reactive network. The reactive network allows you to take some actions based on events that were emitted by smart contracts. Here's how it works. First, you have the origin chain, which can be any EVM compatible blockchain. This is where events will be emitted. Then you have the reactive network, which receives events from the origin chain and decide what to do with them. And finally, you have the destination chain. Like the origin chain, this can be any EVM compatible blockchain. The reactive network will send a transaction to this destination chain in reaction to the event coming from the origin chain. This destination chain can be different from the origin chain or it can be the same. We can also have more complex scenarios where instead of a single destination or origin chain, we have several. Let's see a couple of use cases. First, you can use the reactive network for trading bots. Let's say that you have a trading bot based on some on-chain metrics. For example, when the protocol revenue reaches a predefined threshold, you want to automatically buy some tokens. You can create this very easily with the reactive network. Another kind of trading bot is arbitrage. When you see a price discrepancy between two decentralized exchanges, you can buy on the cheapest exchange and sell on the more expensive exchange. This is another great use case for the reactive network. Another kind of trading bot is a stop loss order where you sell some tokens if the price goes below a certain threshold. Currently, you can do this natively with decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, but with the reactive network, you can do it. Another use case is to automate the operation of a DEX. In general, on DEXs, users need to approve funds with a first transaction and then execute the swap with a second transaction. It's complex, takes more time, and is hard to explain to first-time users. But with a reactive smart contract, you can simplify this and reduce the whole operation to a single step. Another use case is cross-chain governance. Blockchain protocols use smart contracts for their governance. Governance contracts perform important actions like fund allocation or changing protocol parameters. But many protocols are deployed on more than one blockchain. This forces protocols to keep the governance consistent across blockchains using custom systems. With reactive smart contracts, cross-chain governance is way easier. A reactive smart contract can just replicate governance events seamlessly from an origin governance contract to one or several destination governance contracts on other blockchains. The last use case is cross-chain oracles. With reactive smart contracts, you can implement a cross-chain oracle system that trustlessly brings data from an oracle on one chain to an oracle on another. This is very helpful when you are developing on chains that don't have oracles yet. And this is just the beginning. Reactive smart contracts will unlock many other use cases. So now you understand what is the reactive network and what are its main use cases. But how does it work exactly? 
The reactive network is a blockchain. It runs by a network of relayers that achieve consensus through proof of stake. Even though it's technically a blockchain, it's meant to be a connection layer between blockchains but it's not meant to be used as a platform to build separate decentralized applications. So it doesn't need its own liquidity. Inside the reactive network, events coming from connected blockchains first land in so-called system smart contracts. There is one system smart contract for each connected blockchain. These events are then dispatched to what we call reactive smart contracts. Reactive smart contracts are the core of the reactive network. This is where we will process the events received from the system smart contracts and decide which actions to take, like sending a transaction to a destination blockchain or updating the internal state of a reactive smart contract. The reactive network is an EVM chain, which means it runs a modified version of the Ethereum virtual machine. Unlike other EVM chains, there is a separate React VM for each deployer address. It means that all the contracts deployed from an address will run in the same React VM. Those contracts can interact with each other, but they cannot interact with other reactive smart contracts deployed on other React VM. The great advantage of this design is that it makes it possible to parallelize the operations of the reactive network. Next, let's see a real life example of a reactive smart contract. First, we have the origin chain where a smart contract is going to emit an event. Then we have the reactive network where we will listen to those events. These events will be passed to a reactive smart contract. And finally, this reactive smart contract will trigger a transaction that will be sent to another smart contract on another blockchain that we will call the destination chain. So in total, we have three smart contracts on three different blockchains. They are all written in Solidity, the most popular language for EVM-based smart contracts. If you don't know Solidity, don't worry, for this video, we are going to keep it simple. Let's check out the first smart contract on the origin chain. This is a simple smart contract where in this function, we will trigger an event when we will receive some money and we make a payment. Then let's check out the reactive smart contract on the reactive network. In this smart contract, first we have the constructor, which is executed when we deploy the contract. The first important part in the constructor is where we subscribe to the event coming from the previous smart contract. The other important part is the react function. This is the function that will be called every time we receive an event. And in this function, we define some logic to conditionally trigger a transaction for the destination chain. We first define which function to call with which argument, and then we trigger the execution by emitting a special event callback with all the details of the transaction. And finally, let's check out the last smart contract on the destination chain. This is a simple smart contract with a callback function. And you notice that this name matches what we had in the reactive contract. Okay, so that was a simple example of a reactive smart contract. But how can you build your own reactive smart contract? There are a couple of prerequisites. First, you will need to understand the EVM or Ethereum virtual machine, which is the execution engine for smart contracts. The reactive network uses the React VM, but it's basically a slightly modified version of the EVM. Then you will also need to know how to write smart contracts with Solidity. The good news is that Solidity is a very widespread technology in blockchain, so you will be able to reuse your knowledge in many other contexts. One part of Solidity that you will need to understand well is events. Events are small data packages emitted by smart contracts where you can have any fields you want. For example, when ERC20 tokens do a token transfer, they also emit an event that specifies the sender, the recipient, and the amount. Another tool that you will need is an IDE to write Solidity smart contracts like Remix. For deploying and testing the smart contracts, you will need to use a smart contract framework like Foundry. The last prerequisite is knowing how to use a faucet. A faucet is a tool to help you get testnet ether. Testnet ether is some fake ether that you need on testnet in order to send transactions. And a public testnet is a blockchain network used for testing and development. The good news is that faucets are free to use. So there are testnets and faucets for the Ethereum network, like the Sepolia network. And there is also a testnet and a faucet for the reactive network. This is called the Copoly testnet. 
and it's where you should start your journey. So the reactive network is going to change the way that we think about smart contract programming. By making smart contracts react to events, smart contracts become much more powerful. And I have some great news for you. You can get paid for building on the reactive network. Yes, the reactive network has a bounty program. You can either submit your own DAP ID and you will get some tokens if your ID is selected, or you can pick one of their bounties where they suggest a project to build, you try to build it, and if they like it, you will get paid. Some bounties are smart contract only, some are front-end only, where you build on top of someone else's reactive smart contracts, and some are full decentralized application with smart contracts and the front end. So go check out this bounty program. It's the best way to get started with the reactive network. That's it for today. Bye.